Hyderabad CS and stand up comedy <laughs> that tells a lot so how how both things go in parallel so how would you rate your uh, experience at pets hyderabad so third year only one semester has happened yet i'd say the best semester of my college life ever second year is actually where the cs courses start you're sent to a company can be online can be offline even if bits uh, didn't have that mandatory tag attached to it i'd still vouch for uh, that psl i think it's like a sneak peek into what lies ahead i've performed in front of 2500 people i had three interviews on 3rd november and on 2nd november i performed hoping the show and the interviews both went well well for everyone coming into bits he or she has a very good chance of exploring their extracurricular side there is no north side north south divide on mm-hmm. any campus one good thing about the messes is that they serve both uh, north indian food and south indian food together you'll get to have a dosa and chole bhature i'm not nice. even kidding there are four fests which happen uh, one is a cultural fest one is a technical fest there is uh, one sports fest as well and uh, there is one literary fest as well as far as the funding is concerned it is the biggest fest in campus Hello everyone. Welcome to this new episode of uh, podcast series with Bits Pilani students. Today with us we have Harshit Juneja from Bits Pilani Hyderabad campus CS 4 uh, year degree student. Uh, welcome Harshit. Please introduce yourself. Thank you sir. Thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, as for the introduction, my name is Harshit Juneja and as sir told, I am a third year computer science student. at bits pilani hyderabad campus and i'm from new delhi as far as my hobbies are concerned i like to do stand up comedy and i'm also into you know fitness and gym etc so that's about me okay so hyderabad cs and stand up comedy <laughs> that tells a lot so how how yes. both things go in parallel sir i would say uh, as far as the parallelism of both these things are concerned uh, our campus it's very cultural in, in nature and in fact all the campuses of bits they're very cultural in nature so you'll more often than not you'll find a lot of people doing both uh, studies and uh, as well as the cultural side so for me it's stand up comedy but for a lot of people say let's say singing it's dancing it's so painting so uh, the combination goes really well hand in hand and in fact uh, the recruiters or wherever you go after graduating from bits they also really acknowledge it at least that has happened with me <laughs> so yeah uh, has been going really good sir okay great so uh, harshit you have spent a good time at college yes, uh, sir. like you are almost in your completion of third year mm-hmm. so how would you rate your uh, experience at bits hyderabad how would i rate how do i quantify this answer so um i'll first tell qualitatively how all of it went uh first year it was um, more of a breeze because it was partially online for us um we had the covid batch yes uh, so uh the, the subjects were common the environment was new so everything felt more like what we've already seen in movies and all it was really good uh i was surrounded by a lot of smart people uh, then came in second year uh, i was surrounded by even smarter people uh the acad- the acads they became harder and uh, uh at the same time extracurricular activities Uh, I started doing more of them uh start taking part in more club activities and all so overall second year was uh, more about y- you know exploring the vibrant college life which which has to offer um and yeah also exploring academics uh so third year only one semester has happened yet and it was uh i'd say the b- best semester of my college life ever um i i performed a lot i went out a lot of events i studied a lot probably the most in my entire college life uh I, in fact i studied the subjects which i love um, core computer science and that st- starts from second year onwards but yeah third year is probably the best according to me so overall i'd say uh, qualitatively speaking i would rate this uh this entire college life the entire package uh very well on the scale if there is any quantitatively speaking uh i'd say let's say 9 on 10 Okay, great. Yeah. So 9 on 10 when you say something it it really means it has been a great experience. Definitely sir. Okay. So uh, Harshit when you mention Hyderabad CS mm-hmm. it if not you know it would be something which most of the students would be aspiring for. So mm-hmm. so what and at the age when they are making this choice most of them might not really be aware what lies like for their mm-hmm. path ahead mm-hmm. so can you shed some light on that as in the entire cs program or the yes college? particularly about the cs all right 
So as I already told, uh, the first year is common for all the courses. You study courses which you've already studied for JE. Uh, just that they used to be called subjects, now they're called courses. You study physics, chemistry, math, and a few extra subjects like workshop practice, um, and we have to weld stuff. You study engineering, graphics. You go to labs and all that. So first year is like that. Second year is actually where the CS courses start. So there is only one CS course in the first year, which is computer programming, which is introduction to the C programming language. And it is for all. It is for everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Uh, so in second year onwards, you start with the core courses, which which are related to your branch. So in the first semester, I'll just name a few courses. Sure. So first semester, you study object oriented programming. Uh, you study digital design. Second semester, you study uh, database management systems, data structures and algorithms, the most famous course. Uh, and so why I'm saying these is because these are the core courses across the world for CS. Um, alongside that, uh, you also have the option to pick up electives. And mm -hmm. BITS has a mandatory number of electives to choose from. And, uh, you know, you have to choose these many number of humanities electives, these many number of open electives, these many number of discipline electives. So humanities elective, uh, they short sound fun. You know, you study about, let's say, politics or uh, mm -hmm. you want to study about gender, you want to study about literature. In time fact. to study politics, actually. Uh, yeah, most <laughs> definitely, sir. So I myself, I studied about uh, public speaking. Oh, I, I enjoy that a lot. Um, I also studied about mass communication and... I also studied about, studied about gender and, you know, the current society and how it deals with it. So, yeah, that is that is the entire second year. Mostly people, they do their uh, core courses, which I mentioned a few of them, yeah. And uh, also their humanities electives. So that is the second year. Third year is the same as second year when it comes to core courses. There's literally seven core courses in third year and uh, the same number of core courses in second year. Alongside that, people pick up what is called as Dis discipline electives so you know topics like machine learning all those you know all those buzzwords artificial yes. intelligence cryptography okay. and all so you pick up those uh, in your third year. although yeah although there is no compulsion that you have to do them in your f uh, third year you mm -hmm. can do them in your second year as well okay. this has been the general trend and i followed the same okay um so yeah that so that is the entire third year uh, in between second year and the third year in the two months you have to go for a mandatory internship which is called practice school one mm -hmm. it's a two-month internship uh based on your cgpa and your uh, preference order which right. you filled you're sent to a company can be online can be offline i i was sent to an online company because that was in my preference um, it was my domain work so i really liked it it was machine learning and biomedical application oh great so yeah i got some experience there um, apart from that uh, what i really would like to mention is the it's it's not really mentioned as a, as a, uh, at other places on the internet is the project type courses mm -hmm. so in a lot of colleges, a course means you have to go to classes, you have to study it, you have to give exams, you have to pass it. That's the common structure of courses. But in BITS, you also have the option to take up a project type course at max one per semester, starting in the fourth semester onwards, uh, where you actually have to build something under a professor. So, and, and you get a grade based upon that. So, okay. yeah, I did two of them and I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, that's about the academic uh, structure and the flexibility. Great, great. So, uh, when you mention about PS or the practice mm -hmm. school, so how important or how interesting you feel is that uh, prospect with respect to entire academic structure? All right. So, uh, comparison of uh, the internship thing and the academic. I would say it's different. Mm -hmm. so although they have their mid-semester components and their end-semester comp uh, component, which is called Compre, uh, they're different. It's just, so, you'll be allotted work. Uh, if you do it, it's fine. Even if you don't do it, they don't really... Because you're a second-year student, mm -hmm. right? So they don't really expect a lot from you in PS1. Okay. Uh, that is not the case with PS2. They expect... <laughs> you. So they pay you in PS2, sir. Right. Uh, and I'm yet to do a PS2 in my fourth year. Okay. So uh, it's different. It's refreshing. So you have been slogging after like two years. And uh, now it's you, know, you step into industry, you really... You know, you get to embrace the industry world for the first time. So I'd say it's different, but it's I, I think it's a... M mandate for you to do mm -hmm. so i say even if bits uh, didn't have that mandatory tag attached to it i would st still vouch for uh, that psl thing so okay great so it, it's like a sneak peek into what lies ahead in, in the, the future industry. yes sir definitely great great so harshit uh, we we have got to know a lot about the academic life mm -hmm. at bits hyderabad mm -hmm. particularly how would you rate say and not rate i would say how would you 
share your experience about apart from academic life say co curricular mm-hmm. or extra curricular activities mm-hmm. which you or other people generally get involved yeah, at definitely so definitely my favorite question uh, <laughs> so i've been part of a lot of cultural activities throughout my college life uh, and uh, what really helped me was the environment uh, a lot of other people were doing it so i jumped into it and mm-hmm. uh, it could have been vice versa as well i see a lot of people who are not doing it because they don't see other people doing it so in the first year itself i joined the comedy club uh, and uh, i started doing stand up comedy shows in fact in the second year uh, and in the third year as well i have performed in front of 2500 people that is great, the great. bitswilani hyderabad campus auditorium size um, max capacity i have performed in front of 2500 people so that gave Amazing. me a lot of exposure um, in fact sir I, i would like to mention this mm-hmm. uh, i had my interview on 3rd 3rd of november and in fact i had three interviews on 3rd november and on 2nd november mm-hmm. uh, just the day previous to that uh, i performed i oh. had to because you know i signed <laughs> up for it so i i performed and uh, yeah th- that gave me confidence hoping you know? the show and the interviews both went well well uh, so spoiler <laughs> alert they did both of them okay. did i got the offer <laughs> okay. uh, yeah so uh, i'd say extracurricular life at uh, bphc is amazing and that is true regardless of which activity you wish to pursue i pursue comedy i've also danced i've also oh. uh, you know i've been mm. uh, i've done bhangra once uh, in my <laughs> college life yeah nice and i hope i'll do it again so yeah there's that i've also anchored for a lot of events mm-hmm. um, you know a lot of extracurricular events you know that there's bisakhi celebration or let's say there is a fest there's a there's an event which is a part of the fest so yeah i've done that um, so for everyone coming into bits he or she has a very good chance of exploring their uh, c- extracurricular side great 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 to know that thank you so uh, harshit like you are from delhi yeah. have spent good time here and then you have moved to hyderabad yeah. yes, so it must have crossed your mind that north south mm-hmm. divide right so how how has been that is experience at uh, hyderabad well to be honest sir uh, initially i was apprehensive about it you know right. whether to go most uh, of the students uh, are definitely because we've been fed that right uh, so i'll say two things mm-hmm. firstly uh, the campus is void of the north south divide there is no north side north south divide mm-hmm. on any campus uh, and that is because everyone is everyone there is because of their merit you know so there is literally no divide i a lot of my friends are south indian people mm-hmm. and that is very common uh, it's it's not a shocker for anyone in right, the bits community right. um uh, see at the end of the day uh, you'll either set up a uh, settle in hyderabad bangalore even if you go to us you'll not you you might look for bits since there but you'll not look for you know if you're south indian north indian so initially when you're talking to them uh, the language might be a barrier but let me be really honest if you know english you're you're, you're there even like so you're full way there mm-hmm. so that hasn't been a barrier second thing which i'd like to mention is just when you're going to bits any campus uh, specifically hyderabad because here there is a more of a contrast mm-hmm. uh just take this thing out from out of your mind and throw it away that there there is going to be a divide or you're going to okay. you know uh subconsciously create one so that that must be relieving for many students definitely sir and uh, as far as the food is concerned because mm-hmm. uh, right that I, is, i was coming to that see uh, <laughs> as, as i'm not about to come to food directly but <laughs> because you mentioned north south divide i think that should be right. brought up right that uh, must be discussed yeah so uh one good thing about the messes is that they serve both uh, north indian food and south indian food together oh so you will so yeah you'll get to have a dosa and chole bhature i'm nice, not even kidding nice. you get to have masala dosa and chole bhature together on a on a sunday morning um uh, you'll have get you'll have biryani and let's say a paneer dish at the same time and so you'll have uh, both the uh, cuisines at the same time so it won't be an issue and secondly uh, for all the north indians definitely try south indian food and for all the south indians definitely try, try the north indian <laughs> food there. it's lovely so so bringing harmony in the food also definitely great so uh, harshit what have been uh, like how do the festivals at mm-hmm. bits hyderabad campus particularly look like mm-hmm. so uh, there are four fests which happen uh, one is the cultural fest mm-hmm. uh, one is the technical fest there is uh, one sports fest as well and uh, there is one literary fest as well you okay. know it's in literary it's it's coming up sports fest is coming up as well so mm-hmm. sports fest uh, the name is arena mm-hmm. uh, a lot of students a lot of players uh, athletes come from different colleges in and around india and they 
participate i'd say as a as a viewer because i've not been a part of any sport i cannot you know tell uh, with that perspective but as a viewer of those sports i'd say it is one of the best fest on campus i'd say Great. definitely in the top 2 or mm-hmm. i'd say in the first place uh, because the adrenaline is so high let's imagine you're watching an india pakistan match okay, that's that was a bit too much <laughs> but the thing is you're watching your friends play in right in front of you mm. so it's definitely adrenaline inducing and all you know you Right. you shout for one team you cheer for the uh, other and all so that was the sports fest uh, so the only sad thing is that there are no holidays in the sports fest because the events happen in the evening so okay. you don't need any holidays so the uh, so for the sports fest uh, sorry for the technical fest and the cultural fest both have holidays the entirety of the fest so it's like all day fest yeah definitely um you'll often you'll find like stuff happening at 3 am and mm-hmm. you know oh. planned stuff and all so it's, it's great like dance and all so So that Brahm Muhurat thing is a real thing. It's a real thing, <laughs> yes sir. So yeah, the technical fest, Atmos, as it's called in our campus, mm-hmm. uh, there are a lot of workshops which are conducted by various clubs and departments, uh, like machine learning, deep learning, robotics, uh, artificial intelligence, and all that. So there's that. Uh, other than that, there are also pro shows. What is a pro show? Uh, an artist comes, he performs, and uh, people dance, and all that. Okay. So a lot of... prominent figures have also come in the past you can check their instagram page for everyone has come it's atmos.pphc or something similar uh for the cultural fest which is the most awaited one uh so i'd say it's so as far as the funding is concerned it is the biggest fest on campus mm-hmm. and i've performed in the in that fest as well i've performed stand up comedy, comedy? Yep. yeah so i can give you both a participator mm-hmm. pov and a viewer pov uh it's the most relieving time on campus like there's no s- study stress and you can just literally uh, go in any uh event which is conducted uh, you can just be free and uh, mostly first year students they should definitely mm-hmm. definitely attend as many as events as they can okay great and uh, like is there any any kind of uh, interbits festival or interbits uh, competition also going around Yeah there is an interbits sports tournament I forgot its name mm-hmm. it usually happens in Pilani Okay uh last time I think it got cancelled due to uh, uh it was too hot in Pilani because mm-hmm. of that mm-hmm. but yeah it happens uh, almost every year okay. and uh, best players from both the ca- uh, from all three of the campuses they come uh and it's I I think it's a you know it's a pleasure to watch uh, I've never been there but mm-hmm. from what I've heard and what I've read it's a pleasure to watch because see uh in normal sports fest uh you'll have let's say a few sports but in that particular one it's so you're defending your campus mm-hmm. it's like right. you're fighting with your brothers and sometimes <laughs> that's more intense you know it, uh, right okay. so great great so harshit that's lot of interesting stuff about the college mm-hmm. thanks a lot for sharing it and as a viewer many of your queries many of your questions might have got addressed if they haven't been you can ping them in the comment section we will get hold of harshit and make him to answer those and we will try to like solve your queries as much as possible thanks for watching thank you harshit a pleasure sir thank you